The Book of Daniel. The Book of Daniel. 11 In the third year of the reign of Joachim king of Judah came Nebuchadnezzar king of Babylon unto Jerusalem, and besieged it. 12 And the Lord gave Joachim king of Judah into his hand, with part of the vessels of the house of God, which he carried into the land of Shinar to the house of his God, and he brought the vessels into the treasure house of his God. 13 And the king spake unto Ashpen as the master of his eunuchs, that he should bring certain of the children of Israel, and of the king's seed, and of the princes. 14 Children in whom was no blemish, but well favored, and skillful in all wisdom, and cunning in knowledge, and understanding science, and such as had ability in them to stand in the king's palace, and whom they might teach the learning in the tongue of the Chaldeans. 15 And the king appointed them a daily provision of the king's meat, and of the wine which he drank so nourishing them three years, that at the end thereof they might stand before the king. 16 Now among these were the children of Judah, Daniel, Hananiah, Mishael, and Azariah 17 unto whom the prince of the eunuchs gave names for he gave unto Daniel the name of Belteshazzar, and to Hananiah, of Shadrach, and to Mishael, of Meshach, and to Azariah, of Abednego. 18 But Daniel proposed in his heart that he would not defile himself with the portion of the king's meat, nor with the wine which he drank. Therefore he requested of the prince of the eunuchs that he might not defile himself. Now God had brought Daniel into favor and tender love with the prince of the eunuchs. 110 And the prince of the eunuchs said unto Daniel, I fear my lord the king, who hath appointed your meat and your drink for why should he see your faces worse liking than the children which are of your sort then shall ye make me endanger my head to the king 111 then said Daniel to Melzar whom the prince of the eunuchs had said over Daniel Hananiah Mishael and Azariah 112 prove thy servants I beseech thee, ten days, and let them give us pulse to eat, and water to drink. 113 Then let our countenances be looked upon before thee, and the countenance of the children that eat of the portion of the king's meat, and as thou seest, deal with thy servants. 114 So he consented to them in this matter, and Proved them ten days. 115, and at the end of ten days, their countenances appeared fairer and fatter in flesh than all the children which did eat the portion of the king's meat. 116, thus Melzar took away the portion of their meat and the wine that they should drink, and gave them pulse. 117, as for these four children, God gave them knowledge and skill in all learning and wisdom and Daniel had understanding in all visions and dreams. 118 Now at the end of the days that the king had said he should bring the men, then the prince of the eunuchs brought them in before Nebuchadnezzar. 119 And the king commoned with them, and among them all was found none like Daniel, Hananiah, Mishael, and Azariah therefore stood they before the king. 120 And in all matters of wisdom and understanding that the king inquired of them, 
he found them ten times better than all the magicians and astrologers that were in all his realm. 121 and Daniel continued even unto the first year of King Cyrus. And in the second year of the reign of Nebuchadnezzar, Nebuchadnezzar dreamed dreams. Wherewith his spirit was troubled, and his sleep break from him. 22 Then the king commanded to call the magicians. And the astrologers, and the sorcerers, and the Chaldeans. For to shew the king his dreams. So they came and stood before the king. 23 And the king said unto them, I have dreamed a dream, and my spirit was troubled to know the dream. 24 Then spake the Chaldeans to the king in Syriac, O king, live forever till thy servants the dream, and we will shew the interpretation. 25 The king answered and said to the Chaldeans, The thing is gone from me if ye will not make known unto me the dream, with the interpretation thereof, ye shall be cut in pieces, and your houses shall be made a dunghill. 26 But if ye shew the dream, and the interpretation thereof, ye shall receive of me gifts and rewards and great honor therefore shew me the dream and the interpretation thereof. 27 They answered again and said, Let the king tell his servants the dream, and we will shew the interpretation of it. 28 The king answered and said, I know of certainty that ye would gain the time, because ye see the thing is gone from me. But if ye will not make known unto me the dream, there is but one decree for you for ye have prepared lying and corrupt words to speak before me, till the time be changed. Therefore tell me the dream, and I shall know that ye can shew me the interpretation thereof. 210 The Chaldeans answered before the king, and said, There is not a man upon the earth that can shew the kings matter therefore there is no king, lord, nor ruler, that asked such things at any magician, or astrologer, or Chaldean. 211 And it is a rare thing that the king requireth, and there is none other that can shew it before the king, except the gods, whose dwelling is not with flesh. 212 For this cause the king was angry and very furious and commanded to destroy all the wise men of Babylon. 213 And the decree went forth that the wise men should be slain. And they sought Daniel and his fellows to be slain. 214 Then Daniel answered with counsel and wisdom to Ariosh the captain of the king's guard, which was gone forth to slay the wise men of Babylon. 215 He answered and said to Ariosh the king's captain, why is the decree so hasty from the king? Then Ariosh made the thing known to Daniel. 216 Then Daniel went in, and desired of the king that he would give him time, and that he would shew the king the interpretation. Desired of the king that he would give him time, and that he would shew the king the interpretation. 217 Then Daniel went to his house, and made the thing known to Hananiah, 
Mishal, and Azariah, his companions 218 that they would desire mercies of the God of heaven concerning this secret, that Daniel and his fellows should not perish with the rest of the wise men of Babylon. 219 Then was the secret revealed unto Daniel in a night vision. Then Daniel blessed the God of heaven. 220 Daniel answered and said, Blessed be the name of God forever and ever for wisdom and might are his. 221 And he chimgeth the times and the seasons he removeth kings, and setteth up kings he giveth wisdom unto the wise, and knowledge to them that know. Understanding 222 he revealeth the deep and secret things he knoweth what is in the darkness, and the light dwelleth with him. 223 I thank thee, and praise thee, O thou God of my fathers, who hast given me wisdom and might, and hast made known unto me now what we desired. Of thee for thou hast now made known unto us the kings. matter.